where are my Indian food lovers at? Today in my kitchen, I'm taking you to India. Jai Hind. So stay tuned and keep watching this video. I'll be showing you how to make this Indian delicacy. This recipe, the flavor, the aroma. In fact, there's no word for it. Just keep watching. hello everyone welcome back to my channel it's cooking with claudie today we are going all the way to india mother india so i'll be showing you how to make this delicious and tasty chicken biryani this recipe the whole spices in it and the ground spices in, in it like just gives it that good aroma before i get started please hit the subscribe button like share and turn on the notification so you don't miss out on any of my recipes so for the ingredients this is two cups of yogurt you can use any kind of yogurt but i use greek yogurt here i'm just going to squeeze in one whole lemon juice so what we are doing now is making the marinade for the chicken Crush and add in 5 cloves of garlics. Add 1 tablespoon of the chicken nose seasoning. This one is optional. If you don't want to use it, that's perfectly fine. Also, due, due to the acidity of the lemon, I just added one tablespoon of brown sugar just to neutralize the acid in it. In here is one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of ginger powder, one teaspoon of turmeric powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of garam masala, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and one teaspoon of paprika. I'm using two pounds of chicken here so I'm just going to mix the chicken with the marinade This is two cups of washed rice, it's perfectly washed. I steeped this rice in warm water for like 15 minutes so that it takes out all the starch. You have to wash the rice in such a way that the water comes out like clear, crystal clear water. You have to take out all the starch from the water. Here is two cups of rice. I used jasmine rice here. You can choose whatever good rice you have. Add in two cups of water to boil the rice. Boil the rice with some whole spices, cardamom seeds, cilantro seeds, we have some four star anise, like this particular spice is so good, the aroma is so nice, two bay leaves, cinnamon sticks, and some pepper corn, this is just black pepper, like the whole black pepper. Boil the rice with enough water so that the water doesn't dry out because if the water dries out, the rice becomes sticky or it clumps together. So try as much as possible to boil the rice with a lot of water so that it keeps the rice greeny even when it is half cooked. 
I'll be slicing some cilantro to cook the rice with and some for garnishing. I'll be using half cup of ghee. This is like cooking oil. If you don't have ghee, you can use melted unsalted butter or you can use any cooking oil. So I'll be frying my shallots. If you don't have shallots, you can use one whole onion. In this recipe, I use four shallots. Just saute the shallots until they have a brown color, then take it out from the oil. Take out the shallots from the oil and let it drain. Add the marinated chicken inside the remaining ghee. Cover the pot then let some of the water which the chicken is going to emit to dry out. This is why you always need some or a lot of water inside the rice so that the rice remains grainy. Now the rice is half cooked, I'm just going to put in a strainer, then sprinkle some cold water in it so that the remaining heat doesn't cook or overcook the rice. Right now there's still a lot of water inside. I'm just going to cover it again and let it dry off more so that I'm going to have a thick gravy. Yeah, this is just how the gravy has to look like. At this point, I'll just sprinkle the fried shallots on it. I will sprinkle the cilantro as well. Then. The half cooked rice goes on it. Cover the pot with an aluminium foil, then reduce your heat to low so that the low steam inside the pot finishes and cooks the rice. The rice can finish off cooking like in 10 to 15 minutes. The chicken biryani is now fully cooked. I'm just going to mix everything together. That's the gravy and the rice. And the food is ready for serving. I love Indian food. Oh my goodness, I just so love Indian food. Especially dishes that have the garam masala in it. It just gives it this aroma that I don't even know how to explain it. This is the end of the recipe. Thank you so much for watching. If it's your first time here, please don't forget to check out my other videos. They are amazing. So stay tuned. I've got another international recipes coming. Bye-bye.